In this lesson, we're going to be discussing desired state configuration. What is desired state configuration? Desired state configuration is a PowerShell extension that comes with Server 2012 R2. It's a set of commandlets, and these commandlets allow you to configure the state of your machine. DSE enables you to install or remove server roles and features, among other things like managing the registry settings, managing your files and directories, start stopping and managing processes and services, managing local users and user accounts, um, managing packages such as MSI packages and EXE packages. And the two examples here at the bottom. Fix a configuration that has drifted away from the desired state and discover the actual configuration state on a given module. We want to concentrate on these two. And you might be asking yourself, well, we can do all of these things with PowerShell commands. Why do we need DSC? Well, DSC command lets go a little further than just the PowerShell command. This second option at the bottom, second from the last, fix a configuration that has drifted away from the desired state. With DSC, we are able to actually write the configuration file for a machine. For example, if I had a DHCP server, and some of the services and necessary services were removed from that server. What would happen is I could actually use the desired state configuration file for that server to repair the server and bring the server back to its original state. Let's look at the example we have here on screen. Here we have the authoring stage, the staging phase, and the make it so phase. Let's start with the authoring phase. This is the phase where you actually create that DSC file. The DSC file is a set of commandlets, DSC commandlets, and they make up the script. Once you have written that script or written that code, the output from that is referred to as MOF, Management Object Format File. And this is the format which DSC uses. So that file will then be placed on the Pulse server. But this server here will contain all the DSC data that is needed for the servers in your environment. We have two methods in the staging phase. We have the pull model server method and we have the push model configuration staging area method. Let's take a look at the pull model server first. On the right hand side, we have the servers in our environment. Let us say that one day, one of your junior administrators in error installs a role on the server that should not be on the server. What's going to happen with DSC is that DSC will have that configuration file for that server. And in the pull model, the server is going to contact the DSC by passing a URL and a unique identifier to get the correct configuration for itself. 
So what will happen then is that once that server contacts the pull model server, the pull model server then will send that configuration file to the server, which will then bring the server back to its original state. In an environment where you have lots of servers, especially virtual servers, you might, for example, have a virtual server farm where all the servers on that farm need to have the same configuration. In a situation like that, a DSC server will be a good thing because once an error is made on that server, once something is not there, there's a configuration error on the server, something has been deleted, something has been installed that should not be on the server, then it's easy. All that has to be done is that that server is going to pass its URL to the DSC server and the DSC server will send the configuration and the server will be back to its original state. Then we have another method, which is the push model. The push model will take the DSC configuration file and it will push it out to servers. What it does is it actually looks at the server, monitors the server, monitors each server to see if there's an error. And if there's an error on the server, this push model configuration will actually push the configuration out to the server to correct the state of the server. Now, remember that in an environment where you need all the servers to be with the same configuration, this DSC is a very important part of your setup. Let's take a look at the configuration of that MOF file itself. The file is written with the SC commandlet. You can see it begins on line 1 with a function configuration and the name of the site. And then we start with the parameters, the machine name, the node, the feature that's to be installed. And we say ensure equal present, name equal web server. So every, all the configuration items for that particular server are stored in the file. And that file sits on the DSC server. And for the pull model, the target server will actually pull the configuration from the DSC server when it's needed. And for the push model, the push model will actually monitor the servers and push out any needed change to that server based on the schedule that you configure. The desired state configuration comes with 12 out-of-the-box providers. And these providers enable you to configure roles and features to copy files, create registry entries, manage services, create local users and groups. So these providers will have to be on the DSC server and once they're there and they're needed, they're simply replicated, pulled or pushed over to the target server. This is the end of this session. Thank you for listening.